Hello space engineers, welcome back to Aries Colony on Wellington 6012. How's everybody today? I hope you're good. Right, so uh, yes, welcome back to the dome and we will continue on with this. Uh, got a mountain to build, which if you've seen the fly-in, you've probably seen already. Um, I'm still sticking with that plan that I'm going to do, uh, show you what I've done before I've done it yesterday, last episode. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Right, um, so, a bit of deja vu, because I've actually already recorded this intro once. Uh, let's see if I can get the buttons right this time. Um, yeah, because I was just showing you some stuff, and then I got a bit carried away with something before I knew it. I was, um, hmm. Right, um, so yes, nice pictures on my sort of uh, base defences. So I first take i was gonna show you that and i thought oh i've forgotten the sound i was gonna put a sound thing in thinking it would only take a minute to sort out oh gosh it's taken forever to sort out i've had to use some time i'll show you what i mean i've had to use some times and things because one thing the sound didn't actually work i had to go into the settings and just um turn my music up just just a notch because i got it off but off means that the sound block doesn't work so just need to turn it up like one or two percent um, so I still can't hear the music, but it is there. Um, and then I had to use some timers and stuff to get it to reset and go. And, oh, it was just dramas, dramas, dramas. Um, and I got some lights as well, so that's good. Right, so let's uh, push the button and see what happens. Military alert. Military alert. So that's, uh, that's, our, Military alert. that's our thing. Uh, I'll just say it once Military more, I think. Alert. And then you should stop talking. Yes. Um, yeah, so I've got the lights going, and uh, yeah, so that's, uh, so I've got this one done, and I'll do the others at some point as well, but um, yeah, right, uh, so that's something to work on, so that's cool, alright, let's go into here, um, actually the other thing that's been problematic is the safe zone, now I'll just show you what I mean, but before I do that, while we're waiting for the airlock, have a look at that view. That is super cool, and there's the alien planet up there. Um, yeah, I just, I love this, love this dome. It's awesome, hope you are enjoying it too. Uh, yeah, I didn't really do anything else in here, I don't think. Maybe just added one or two more shrubs. I did, oh, I think I put this tree in. Yeah, I just, just did this bit, because I was sort of putting in these um, timers here. I thought we'll just put some in, because they'll come in useful, so... Yeah, before I sort of cover them up. Right, uh, yeah, the safe zone. So I did put the thing on here as well. Um, but the problem that I have is that uh, I can turn it on and off. But I can't do anything else with it. Now, I've struck this before. And it's not just me. Um, so yeah, the only options you get are really to do with the screen. Oh, and that was the other thing I tried to do off camera and failed, was, um, okay, I'll come back. Yeah, so the the safe zone, yeah, I can't enable it, and that's what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, so that's, that's a bit of a pain, actually. Uh, so, um, yeah, so I can do that, and then if I turn it off, it will be... Yeah, so anyway, um, so the defences will turn them off, and there you go. But now if I turn it back on, it should, yeah, see it kicks back in. So it's when I restart the game that it, that it, oh, unless, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think it's an omission rather than a bug. Hmm. And yeah, I'll just get rid of these because they've done their job. Uh, and the the other thing that I tried, as I was just saying, that I finished off what I was saying, uh, is to put the the screen have two pictures rotating, one picture for when it was on and one picture for when it was off. And I tried using the change the interval, and it kind of worked, but it didn't work. It worked eight. Oh, nine times out of ten um, but when it didn't work it sort of 
did two images and ended up back on the wrong one, so it didn't work. Didn't matter whether it was, um, hmm. Uh, yeah, it didn't matter whether it worked a little bit or a lot. It needed to work completely and it didn't. So anyway, right. So today we are going to, we're going to build a mountain. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the plan. Um, just quite how I'm going to do that. I don't know. I guess. Hmm. See, so you, you are at more of an advantage to me because you've seen what it looks like because <laughs> I've already done the fly through well I haven't already done the fly through but you have seen the fly through that I'll do at the end that I played last so all right let's get some steel I think that's probably important right okay um so if First of all, I'm thinking that we'll do a little bit of an angled thing. Like so. I'll replace that stuff momentarily. So if we do that, and then I just think that'll help get the sort of shape a bit better. Just like that. And then what I'll do is I'll replace this stuff here. So we'll go out. Yeah, we'll go that far. Might just need to get rid of that light. It's not going to be of any use. So, yeah, I just, I kind of need to think about where stuff's going. was the right one. Why on earth am I got my jet back on? I don't need it on. I need to get used to not using it so much. Okay, so I'm not going to do it today, but I need to leave provision for... Oh, that's cool. Um, for a lift. An elevator, which will be in here. So... There'll be a door at this level, there'll be a door at that level, and there'll be a door at that level. Yeah. So I'm just going to sort of work on this this bit over here, really. That's the plan. Um, I might just replicate that over this side. Yeah. Um, back in a sec. Alright, so that's good, and I've just realised there's a cargo container here. <laughs> Who put that there? Um, right, so that's uh, that's good, because I can't get that one that's got a sorter in there to just pull this um, the safe zone chips, the zone chips in. So, yeah, that's, uh, oh, we've got one here, so that's good. Right, um, I guess now I put in, like... A wall here. So yeah, I'm gonna have to line this, aren't I? Uh, yeah, I didn't really think about how I was gonna do this. But um, oh, well. <laughs> it is what it is. That's actually. Oh. They're silly carriers, they just, as they're leaving, they put that warning out, it's most unnerving. Right, so let's do that. Yeah, just, just thinking, 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 thinking. Of course, this doesn't need to be airtight. This is all just um, just for looks. Then, what if we? 
Yeah, what if we went with the, the doodakis? You know, the what's -a call it's The hoojimajigs. These things. So what if we went for our dark brown on those and maybe put one in across there? Is there like a half one? Sort of, but not really. Oh, what for one will do. So if we go like that. That'd be cool. And we'll do the same. Actually, no, we'll do it. We'll do it there. Energy low. Just not sure how that's gonna how that's gonna cope. No, maybe, 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 maybe we need just to put blocks in here. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I feel like this is going to be sped up montage thingy because yeah, this is taking a bit of uh, brain energy. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Back. Uh, back soon. Really, that didn't need to be in the middle, did it? Mm. Okay. Anyway. Right. Okay, so this is about take, I think, take four to try and figure out where I'm putting stuff, but I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I'm just about on the right track now. I think. <laughs> oh, I just keep moving stairs and all sorts. So, um, behind there, that will be an access out here, um, bearing in mind that this will probably get sliced down to let the ground dip away over there, but we're not going to do that today. But what I do want to do is just put a entrance out here somewhere. Maybe. Possibly. 
Yeah. So we'll put you there and just like that. And yeah, I want to move the safe zone because it's not in the right place. Well, actually, the safe zone's in the right place. It's the the building that's in the wrong place. But I'm not moving that. Um, the the zone can just be a couple of blocks off center, which will mean it covers the uh, oxygen farm a bit better. I think we'll just go out to there for now. Actually, no, we don't. We don't even need that top layer on. Because we can just put these on here. So this is um, this is sort of uh, reminiscent of maybe some sort of World War Two type underground bunker type entrance. I think. Just yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to look alright when it's done. Uh, very industrial. Uh, let's, let's just get rid of all of you. Monolithic. I think that's probably actually the right word. So I did think about using the passageways, especially the new ones with pipes and stuff. But I think I think just having oh, there's a hole there. I think just having the concrete is probably the way to go. So let's just get rid of these because I want to get the same, get the right pattern on the floor. So let's do that. So it sort of continues through as a single slab. Cool. That's good. Good, good, good. Uh, let's just put. Yeah, best we put a uh, handrail in there so we don't have any accidents. That should just link on to there. Yes, it does. So it'll be on this on the outside, but leave that space free. Good, good, good. Very good. Okay, let's just go back to the old concrete uh, here. And then. Hmm. What I probably want to do is actually so I'm really happy with how this has turned out the um, the voxel work so if we go like that and then like that is that that is the right way Yeah, that's good. Um, oop, that's not the right button. Try that one. So actually, um, I mean, this did take a little while, but I think I'm getting a little bit quicker at doing it. Would have been quite good to have a future Wellington watching and recording. So I'll probably do that as an outro. I'm just going to um, put in a whole lot of just flat grass and trees. I can always get rid of them later. Probably just place them down. See, these ones are actually um, placed down so they are part of the grid. They're not individual blocks. Because otherwise, if I go too far away, like over 50Ks, they'll probably despawn. Think, I think that's what will happen so all these trees are actually as you can see we've got blocks there that they're on and uh, yeah poking through with the roots was a little bit of a problem that one still just sticks through it's just a little bit of grass up there which we will just take care of while we see it so if I just give a bit of a, bit of a thing there that's good so I didn't delete that I actually just replaced it with stone uh, yeah, so that's um, that's quite cool. So we'll have a 
yeah we'll have a bit more of a look at that when I actually get down to doing it let me <sighs> what do I want to do um... yeah I think this needs to come out to here what I might do is first of all I'm going to move this uh, safe zone is that the middle? yeah that's the middle so what we'll move first is the cargo container we'll get rid of those out of there so we'll put the safe zone cargo container up in here safe uh, zone chips I should say so put them in there and this is called the Cargo container zone chips. And then in the floor, that's where I want to put the sorter. Like, that's not it. There we go. And we've got an access panel at the top here. No, okay, that's all right. Uh, sort of. Is there? No, there isn't. Um, so we want whitelist. And we want. Ugh. Why are you not behaving? Zone chips. And we'll drain them all. good review cool okay and the safe zone because it's actually got a thing on the bottom so that makes life a bit useful uh, ooh, okay hang on hang on hang on just figure out how big it is Set range of safe zone. 10 meters. What? Why is that reset? It was not 10 meters. Hang on, if I turn it on. Enable. 120. Okay. <laughs> okay, 120 meters. Right. So. Actually. Oh, no, I was having a thought, but never mind. Inventory full. This may take some time. Inventory full. Inventory full. Then again, it might not. <laughs> then again, it might be really easy. Uh, okay, let me just uh, set this up. I'll put the image on and that sort of thing back in a second. All right, so we are back. I did some extra stuff actually on top of uh, what I was doing. So move the pipe and yeah, so that's uh, that's all good. I really like underneath here. It's not often that you sort of detail underneath something, but it's come up real well. Um, in here still need to put some signs and stuff in here I don't know what I'm going to do but anyway uh, but something that I just did off camera just now is I put this curvy block in just to make this um, what do you call it uh, interface a bit nicer so it matches that sort of a bit more stylized uh, using these big blocks um, up here it looks quite cool because it's just just the one block so yeah that that, that works out uh, yeah, and then up here, we'll, we'll go out there in a second. Um, yes, so I've got that set up. Uh, I still need to fill this up with some other things. Whether this becomes my armory? Probably could, actually. I don't have any grand plans of where my armory's going to go, so maybe I do put the armory in here. 
Um, probably want to put some more batteries in as well. Yeah, but anyway, a good space. I like the space in here. So uh, over here, there will be an elevator which will go down a level and go up as well. So that's the plan there, but not today. We'll let future Wellington deal with that. Right, let's go back down in here and outside and we'll have a little bit of a go with the voxel hands. So this is what I've done here. So I think that works all right uh, here. Yeah. And just before we do the voxel hands, let me put in some trees. Because I think we want to put as soon as I find them. Where are they? Uh, there. That's what we want. Um, one sort of on there, I think. Yeah. Maybe we'll just um, plonk one down there as well. Oh, no, it needs to be a bit high, doesn't it? Uh, oh. Let's just put one of them down and yeah. Right, um, not going crazy with this. So what I want to do is just sort of um, finish off the episode. I think I'll do a little bit of a... I'll get future Wellington to jump in. And yeah, do a bit of a, bit of a time lapse of me doing some more stuff. Don't know how permanent it's going to be. Um, yeah, we'll just, uh, yeah, I think that's good, and actually if we just put another, another one down there maybe, yeah, I think that works, so those will be permanent. Right, so, voxel hands, um, you need to be in creative mode, see, they don't, they don't list on here, you need to be in creative mode to, uh, be able to add them to your toolbar but once they're on the toolbar you can keep using them in survival mode so that's cool and i'm limited on how i'm using them you know i'm, I'm using them for this rock facade um yeah so uh the other thing that's quite important is so if i go for the round one you can press the k button and get the different shape and distance and stuff there's a whole lot of things. Um, the thing that the the different textures down the bottom right of the screen, if I press the square brackets, I can scroll between the different types. So the stone that it opens up with is your asteroid stone. So don't think that that's earth stone. We go through so Triton alien planet all the way back and then you get this stone here next to the soil next to the wood so this is the earth stone so this is the stone that i've been using so let me just um do a little bit more work so i'm sort of just making a little bit of a shell with with this and then going through and using different textures for just a bit more detail but yeah, so that's how I'm sort of making this sort of hollow. So if we come over here. So we go like that. And yeah, just kind of fill it all in really. Then we need to think about where trees are going. So is that a full block? That's a, that's a half block. So we could put spruce in there I don't think that's gonna cut through to anything and maybe one up on there yeah and then maybe just finally so they these will I think be permanent energy low maybe just put one over here and find the button Sorry, my mic's just again in the way today, which is just misbehaving. Like that. Yeah, I, I think that'll that'll work. Yeah, so I'll just I'll fill in the rest of this with some stone. Yeah, 
and so yeah uh, left mouse button to add it in right mouse button to take it away so that's cool and let's just put some oh no I've still done too much oh I just want to back it off Not the easiest thing to do, that's for sure. I think, I think that's what I want. Yeah. All right, and then I'll use the one by one, which uh, again, using the K, you can you can get at different sizes, which we'll do in a second. So the different textures that I'm using is we've got the woods grass bear, so that's um. Let's just get rid of this edge here. So I'm just using the right click to get rid of that. So it sort of has its place, this one. A uh, little bit bright. Then if we keep going, the woods grass. So that's that gives you this sort of this type of grass here. And that one works quite well just to cover up all sorts of things and then the other one just to give a little bit more texture is the gra rocks grass so this just kind of um yeah gives it uh, sort of a mossy type finish I'm putting a little bit of that in just really really helps things a bit energy critical like so let's just get rid of a little bit of that Yeah, so that's um, that's what I'm sort of doing there. So let's uh, let's get back to some wood grass. Just plug these little holes. Yeah, I think that works quite well. Again, just just gives you a nice little bit of texture. And uh, yeah, so every time I go and have a look at something, I find something else that it just just needs a little bit. <laughs> Okay, uh, let me just grab some power and then just really quickly how I'm doing the grass. So go into the square one and just make it a single height, but make it however big I want really for um, for the other shapes. So we'll do it, we'll do it that big there. And let's find the grass. Don't know what grass two is. That's what we want there. And then we can just use our insert and delete keys and that sort of thing and get it up the right way. So let's just. So we line that up with that. Fairly forgiving the grass. Yeah, so that um, that works quite well, I think. Yeah, so that that's um, that's the sort of look that we're uh, that we're going for. Just try and get this back level, close to it. so yeah so that'll that'll sort of um, meet up with the with the rock wall hmm okay so uh, yes I think uh, leave that with me for a little bit and uh, yeah as as I was saying um, I will uh, I will do this I'm probably just gonna lay out a whole lot of grass here with some trees just temporarily I think to get the meadow effect and yeah they'll probably go or I'm not sure what I'll do um, but yeah I'll just I'll just lay it flat uh, that, that will be the easiest way 
and make a bit of a mountain up here which again I might take away later but I'm just really keen to do the flying that you've already seen <laughs> okay so uh, let's go stand let's go stand up here oh look see I need to plug these holes everywhere I go there's always holes but um hmm let's just go right here haha <laughs> Right, just had to get a new spot. Um, yes, so, right. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. I hope you did enjoy, well, the last couple of episodes. It's kind of been a two-parter for me, uh, although it's taken me actually a number of days to put all this together. Uh, yeah, but really happy with how this is coming out, and uh, I hope you like it too. So, uh, yeah, I will get Future Wellington to jump in and just watch me do some stuff. And, uh, yeah, until next time, uh, well, hopefully you can join me again when... Not sure what we're going to do, actually. We'll have to have a bit of a think about it. Um, yes. Right, but until then, stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good one.